this is vital information that I think may be of benefit to you as a student. Remitter. Okay. Now the the payment of school fee is closing, and you know we use remitter platform in making the payment. So it is very possible for you to generate your remitter ahead of expiration date. You will keep it, then you can make your payment even after the closure of the payment period. The only thing is that the the benefits of you making payments you might be denied that is registering courses you might not be able to register courses but for that you can seek assistance from within the system but as for the payment of school fee it might be closing tomorrow or next tomorrow or up next week if you are you, you are privileged enough go to your portal generate the remitter number and keep it so if it happens that you're able to make the payment or you you're going to be able to make the payment next two or three weeks so when it is time for you to make the payment <clears throat> just walk out to any bank tell them you want to pay using the remitter they will tell you to present them the remitter number so then give them the remitter number with the remitter number they will be able to make the payment and you will see directly reflecting on your portal if it doesn't reflect then you can just go back and requery so that's what i just want to say i think is a privileged information that you can use or you can make best use of so kindly like the video subscribe and make comments okay <clears throat> let's go ahead so i'm going to use this student account for example <clears throat> so you input your metric number and your password then you click on login so immediately you are logged in you know to make your payment you come to payment section here okay <clears throat> then you come here all we are trying to do is to just generate remitter number and keep for these students who doesn't have the money for now to make the payment as as per this payment this payment is going to close in the couple of days and we are assuming that this guy, this student doesn't have the money for today, tomorrow, next tomorrow, no, no hope or whatever for now, until next week. So she could use the RRR for payment when the money is available, okay? So you come to payment type here, eh? the payment is available, still available. But once the payment is closed, you won't be able to see this again, okay? So what we are trying to do is we want to generate remitter number against this payment. Okay, if the payment we are trying to generate remitter against is also distance that you can generate is too. So that after the period of closure, you can always use that remitter number tagged or attached to this to make any payment. Okay, <clears throat> what we are trying to make payment of is school charges, that is the school fee. You click on it. After that, you click continue. It will take you to a point. Now you see, generate RRR. That is all we need. Then click on it okay it will load them to generate this number this is all that you need so you can write this as well keep it so when it is time maybe next week or next two weeks before the upload of result whatever so there you can just take this number to any bank once they impute this number it will bring out exact amount of money connected to this, to this rrr so after you have made the payment at the bank it may not reflect immediately on your on your portal okay what you can do in the interim or to save to to after you have made the payment using that rrr it may not reflect here immediately what you just do is you will come to require payment here after you have made the payment at the bank okay they will issue you the receipt the rrr number will be on the receipt so what you will need to do so that you have the receipts in school in with uh, with the school a name and everything written on it that is to convert the RRR to school receipt you come to require payment it will automatically pull out your matric number click on display payment record okay <clears throat> then it will show you all the payment record that you have ever made from your first point of payment to the last one okay like for this student you can see acceptance payments you can see it is pending 
acceptance wherever you can see completed 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 this pending so this is the one that i just created this evening look at the the dates then look at the rr number in a situation where you lost the number after you've written it you lost it this is where you can retrieve it again okay now let's assume that i've been able to successfully make this payment you can see <clears throat> what is attached to the payment school charge the name okay but it is showing me pending so if you had gone to the bank to make the payment it will still be showing you pending but all you need to do is come to this query click on it so after you have made the payment at the bank and you come in here to click query it will change the status from pending to completed it is then and then only will you be able to have the payment on the receipts section of the portal here okay so i think the information might be of benefit to students especially during this trying time so kindly share comment subscribe and all that all the best And very importantly, eh, after you have been able to successfully make the payment, you know, the next thing is for you to register courses, but immediately the payment of school fee is closed on the portal. The privilege of you registering courses will be denied. Okay, but since you have been able to generate the RRR before the closure date and you have been able to make the payment, the payments you made using the RRR will be having the dates when the RRR was generated. This is what I mean. If you generated the RRR yesterday and you were able to make the payment today. So if you go to present, if you are printing the receipt on the portal, it's going to be having the name. I mean, it's going to be having the date of yesterday because that is the day. That was the date you generated the RRR. Okay, so that is the gimmicks behind it. But the point, the point also is the fact that you will not be able to register your courses on the portal. So for this, you can seek assistance from anyone within the system to help you. Okay, now <clears throat> generate your RRR, keep it safe with you. Okay, then at the, definitely you must pay your school fee before you can see results. You must pay your school fee before you can register courses. But what you just what you are just trying to explore is the is the privilege of you making the payments in this harsh, tough economic period and getting more time before you can make the payment. That's actually the essence of this video. In a situation where you are unable to make the payments, we still do not want to lose you as a student. We do not want you to lose a session as a result of that so you can still play around this and still get your studentship ongoing okay thank you kindly subscribe kindly like kindly share kindly make comments thank you